All right, so we got it all in. We're not gonna go through great details on this and install detail, detail, step by step, because I do have a link to another video that I watched before doing this. Uh, one thing I wasn't for sure about, because the instructions aren't that great, is this metal bar right here. This metal bar was attached to the box in the front across both sides, and I thought you were supposed to leave it on. Well, you can't do that because it won't go down all the way. What you think about it makes sense because if you take this drawer all the way out, you can't lift this part up if that metal bar is there. So I guess it's just put there for shipping purposes. But anyway, you know, it may have been buried in the instructions and I just didn't see it. But regardless, I just wanted to, you know, point that out. Uh, this thing does come with two keys. You can just push that button in and stuff comes out. As you can see, I've elected to take this divider out to have more room. I put the factory jack components in here, along with some wheel chocks. Uh, this is left out because I was had some tools to put back in it. But here's my wrenches, sockets, gloves, all that fun stuff. Got some uh, papers here, battery cables. I got a ton of stuff out in the storage. I got to put back in here that was in the Forerunner. Some uh, pry tools, some little knickknack stuff. Anyway, so I got plenty of storage in here. Now I will fill this bad boy up once I get my stuff. I used to have an L4 in our drawer system, so this will be a lot fuller uh, in the future. But uh, I did some measurements up here. I did not put these uh, hooks back in yet because I am going to buy a piece of plywood and carpet it and put it on top of here. It'll also help with stability on the weight on top. Uh, you know, and I think it'll look better. And I'll be able to use the... Uh, the canvas back liner on it as well so that is to come very soon i just gotta go to home depot and get it uh as you can see i've already prepped the sides for the velcro uh which i covered a little earlier but yeah so sorry for the dirt because this thing has we just got through having a snowstorm here but you know cool the bronco logo there so i guess i'm ready for overlanding i got my drawer system and got my table but uh but no, seriously, I do uh, think this will come in handy. I'm sure there may be some other pieces out there that are better quality, but, you know, this will be suitable for me. So, hope you like and enjoy this. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link for somebody with a more in-depth install. And like this, that person said, you definitely want to do the, the bolts in the back first. I would recommend do all up, hand thread the nut on all four, and then go back and tighten up the back ones. So, and you'll definitely... Uh, be better off if you have an uh, a wrench like I did. Uh, let me go over here and show you. It's laying over here, but a wrench similar to this, not necessarily this brand, but uh, it will help you a lot getting to that back bolt. Because if you're a big guy like me, it's hard to get your fat arms back here. I am going to go back and trim the edge of these off around the tip here, so I can put these back in there to make it look a little cleaner. Uh, you know, so that way whenever we go back over here and when we go to shut this oops you won't have this gap right here so i'll put those back in we'll do a little tiny cutting uh i'm sure you could probably get some new from Ford if you ever decide to go back stock but yeah so we should be all wrapped up and i hope you guys enjoy please like and subscribe and hit the alert button for new content alerts and we'll see you here soon with another video. All right, so I did take these lasso pieces, what people call them. I did make a little U with a Dremel. It's not perfect, but it doesn't really have to be because only part of it will be sticking out from the back of the drawer. So we'll go ahead and slap them bad boys back on to see uh, how they look. All right, drum roll, please. Yeah, that's about as easy as you will have a little bit left in there but uh you know if you get there and look hard enough you can see it but in general it looks a lot better than it was before it was just a big wide open space at least this covers some of it and here's the other piece i'll go right here all right after some pushing i did get it off so it had a snap in perfect i said about as good as you're going to get it so very happy with it so all right hope you guys like this video like i said this is a pretty nice setup and uh we'll definitely be using this more and more in the future
to kind of decide how I want to put everything in here. So until then, see you guys later. As you can see here, I did take some measurements. Uh, there's a lip that on the back that rolls up over the top slightly. You can see here it's about a 3 8 inch over the top of the box. I will be measuring the box and I'll put dimensions below in the description. Uh, so I'm going to put a piece of plywood over this that extends out to the ends and also has carpet. So I'll be able to use the canvas bag cargo liner on it. Uh, like I said, some people don't like this box. I think it's perfect for my needs and I uh, can't wait to try it out and fill it full of stuff.